So what is going on guys, CG here today and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, I know it's been a while and I apologise, um, but truth be told I have been engulfed by Red Dead Redemption 2, there's no other way around it, I haven't been recording my ARC series or Hunt for the God Gun, I have just been grinding on Red Dead 2 because I'm debating whether to go for the Platinum or whether to just go for 100% of the game, I'm not really too sure what I'm doing with that yet, but obviously, you know, it's a big game, it's a big process and I've just been grinding that out for the past like week since my review went out and I thought, you know what, screw it, I'm going to just get back into a rhythm, back into a schedule, and it's not going to be daily uploads, because these videos, uh, I mean, these ones, and ARC, will take a very long time to record and edit each, so maybe one every couple of days, but we'll fill the gaps with streams and other stuff, so, <clears throat> yeah, that's what's been happening, but today, we are going to be doing the Spitfire, the very fast fire rate gun on Black Ops 4, the third SMG. The next episode will be the Cordite, and then unfortunately after the Cordite, we may have to jump onto the Assault Rifles and come back to the Sorg 52, I think it's called, because I'm not level 52. Oh no, it's at level 52, sorry. The Sorg 9mm, or whatever it is, I don't unlock to level 52, and I mean level like 43. I've been grinding pretty hard on that as well to get level up, and so on and so forth. So we'll have to come back to that, but the Cordite will be the next episode, probably on Wednesday, maybe even tomorrow, um, depending on how quickly I can get it done. Um, but yeah, this is the Spitfire, the very fast fire rate, third SMG in the game. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into the gameplay. So today, we're going to be trying to keep this little bastard under control. Now, I do not like this SMG by all means. Probably one of my least favourite ones. Um, it really isn't. It, for me, it's just not that great. Too high fire rate, the bullets go way too quick. And that's why we are running today the fast mags and also the extended mags. So that we can swap the mags nice and quick because this thing spits bullets out. But we're also going to need bigger mags because this thing isn't exactly the most accurate either. I haven't unlocked stock yet, unfortunately. Although I have been trying to get the, all the guns upgraded for this series. But we do have the quick draw attachment which we're going to be using. Because ADS, getting that first shot is going to be crucial. And just for a little bit more accuracy as well, we are going to be using the reflex sight. So without any further ado, you guys know the rules. Let's get straight into this and jump into our first game of control. Right. So we are now in game one, control. Pushing A straight away. We have a nice, well, we have a fairly nice lobby. There's two of them, no thanks. Jesus Christ. Enemy down. Oh, oh, fuck off. Yep, spawn peak, like the good player that you are. Fucking asshole. When you get the shots on with this thing, it's not that bad. Seraph kill. Yo, this thing's actually low-key pretty accurate, although it's meant to be really badly accurate. Hey, get... Oh, sh... Oh, fuck. Well, where the fuck are you, then? Oh, my God. Fuck off. Oh, oh I just yeeted out of there. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> no, that was unreal. Holy shit. Fucking spawn kill. Yeet. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, it's a 4v2. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? Here he comes. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. That was horrid. I'm just siege corner camping this. Well, that was an abnormally easy game. I went 15 and 14. That's not bad for my first game in a few weeks. Um, I don't play the game. How? Oh, <laughs> what? 
Oh no, this is no, this is meme. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my god. Right, well, on to, uh, what do we do next? Hard point. Let's go on to hard point. Alright, here we go, on the hard point. Switching things up, playing as my British brethren prophet. Let's give this a whiz. That was very overly aggressive of me. Oh! <laughs> Corner camp in FC. We oh, fuck off out of my corner, you prick. There you go, get out of there. Seekers available. Oh shit. Alright, low key, I'm going off. This is mad. Oi, we have a. whatever this is. Lightning strike? Fucking stick it random. One. Okay. Hang the fuck on. That guy can actually go and stick a cactus in his rectum. Finessed. Oh, and then they got the clutch. Jesus Christ, that was close. There's like three of them. Ah. All right, let's play this strategic. Okay, there's one. There's no more than one. When in doubt, you gotta yeet that bitch. Oh, I'm actually in. Oh, no, I'm not. What the fuck was that? Don't tell me that was a fucking... Oh, okay, at least it wasn't a trip mine. Whew. Oh, that was very meme. That was dreadful, and that was even worse. Oh, fuck that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop running away. Oh, he's dead. Annoying. We can just get a solid hold on the hard point, pull some points back. We might be alright. He says as he gets gunned down by a diamond Maddox. Easy kill. How was that second one not a kill? Come on. Oh, the guy with the diamond Maddox. Again. Oh no. They're four points away. Three, two, one. Oh my god, they're on one point. They're one point away. Oh, fuck's sake. I mean, I started this game 6 and 0 and went 31 33. So we had a little bit of a fall from grace. But it wasn't a bad game, if you ask me. I I enjoyed that. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm in the final kill cam. Of course I am. But without any further ado, let's move on to the final game, which is Le Kill Confirmed. Right. Game three. Shaking it up again. We're playing as Ruin this time. A very heavy kill-orientated operator. Uh, but yeah, let's do this. Wow, that was fluke. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me? How were neither of them kills? Yeah, that's it, boy. Oh my god, I thought it was on somebody else's team. That made me shit myself. Oh, We can't kill. Oh, I didn't get- oh, that second guy already got killed anyway. Oh shit. HAHA! <laughs> get shot on. Oh, reload. Oh my god! That's the first one. Oh, and there's about five fucking more outside. There's four of them in there. There's four of them in there. 
and we lost. No wonder we fucking lost. There's so many of them just camping point. Jesus Christ. So I went final game 19 and 21. That's not too bad. I'm kind of happy with these three games considering how little I've played this game since I went back from Scotland. So overall, I'm happy with them three games. So there you have it guys, that is the Spitfire. Now after last stream's recommendation, Clash told me that I should also give you guys a heads up on how to use this gun. So this is me saying how to use the Spitfire. I 110% believe you have to be close quarters. It has to be fire and range, maybe nuke town when it comes out. It has to be something with lots of tight close quarter combat. Anything with big lines of sight, big open maps, you are not going to benefit from this gun on this map. Go to the ICR or the Vapor for something like that. If it's nuke town, fire and range, the smaller maps, I think it's Arsenal is another good one for it. Take the Spitfire in with you. It's not the best SMG by all means, but it is a very good gun, close calls. I have no doubt that on Nuketown it's probably going to be one of the most broken things ever. But it is a very good close quarter weapon. But try to avoid the long lines of sight. And really, really stick the attachments that give it more accuracy. Because it's a very fast fire rate. has a lot of kick. Put something that makes it more accurate on. Hence why I was using a reflex, a stock, and the quick draw. If I can remember my attachments correctly. If not, I'm not like an absolute imbecile. But I'm pretty sure I did as, as good as I could um, with what I was given. Uh, but yeah, on the rankings, I think I'm going to give this gun, to be honest, although it was a good game plan, I got quite a lot of kills, I don't like this gun in the slightest, so I'm going to give it a 4, which puts it somewhere on the list, probably at the bottom at the moment because they've only done 3 guns, but there you go guys, that is the Spitfire episode of Hunt for the God Gun, I've been your boy CG, this has been Hunt for the God Gun episode 3, and I'll see you guys soon with a brand spanking new video, goodbye.